Hello, and welcome to Holy Crafts, the show where we help you draw closer to holiness. I'm Uncle Sam, and today we're going to be listening to part of the gospel for the first Sunday of Lent, and doing a scripture activity called My Daily Bread. It'll look like this. Alright, let's get started. This Sunday, the Gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 4, when Jesus was fasting in the desert for 40 days. When he was hungry, the devil tempted him and said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He said in reply, It is written, One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Okay, what do you think Jesus meant when he said, One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God? Well, we as Christians believe that God made us with a body and with a soul. The body can be seen and needs to eat things like bread and water. But our invisible souls are different. Our souls need spiritual food for us to be spiritually healthy. Jesus tells us that God's Word is our spiritual food. And where do we find God's Word? In the Bible! The scriptures of the Bible are full of God's Word. Now that we know that, Let's start our craft. Okay, in the description of this video, you're going to see a template that you can easily print out. And once you do that, we could start our craft. The template should look like this. It should have eight pieces of bread with scripture on them. Next, you're going to need some scissors, a hole puncher, as well as all the crayons you need. I also recommend that you use some yarn. On the front page, we're actually going to be writing in the title of the project. We're going to call this My Daily Bread. I'm going to put a little happy face on top. Very good. All right. Our first step is to color in all the loaves of bread very lightly so that you don't cover up any of the words. I'm going to start with orange. Now that I've colored the whole piece of bread in, I'm going to also color the crust, but this time I'm going to do it a little bit darker. Alright, very good. Go ahead and color in the rest of the pieces of bread, all different colors, so it's nice and bright. All right, great job. All right, good job coloring. All those slices of bread look very fun. Next, go ahead and take out your scissors and cut out every slice of bread.
Good job. Cutting takes a lot of patience. Lastly, I'm going to be cutting the piece of bread that will be on the very front. This is my title bread. I'm going to spread out each piece of bread so that the whole thing looks like a loaf of bread. Great! Now I'm going to take out my yarn and I'm going to use purple. I'm going to measure just an arm length of yarn and I'm going to set it aside. Next I'm going to bring all the pieces of bread together so that they're all flush and I'm going to put it inside my hole puncher. I'm going to line it up right in the middle so that there's a hole in the middle of all of my pieces of bread. Perfect! It should look just like this. Okay. Okay. Now that you have your hole, we're going to thread the yarn through the middle. And we're going to come through the left side down to the right side. That way when you pull each slice, they'll go over to the left side. Now what I like to do is I like to space out each piece of bread so that they all look like they're showing. Just like this. Look how colorful that is. That's really fun. All right, great job. Now here's an optional addition you could do. If you have these magnets that go on your fridge, you could tie your daily bread activity to the magnets. Perfect. I'm going to do a double knot just like this. All right, that's not going anywhere. Great job. Now I'm going to put it on my fridge. Great job. Now you will have a chance to read a scripture passage every day this week. You could even ask an adult like your mom or your dad to help you think about the reading by answering the questions below the scripture passage. This way, we are truly feeding our souls, just like Jesus said, with the Word of God. Alright, that's all we have for today. Until next, Holy Craft, keep striving to draw closer to holiness. Bye!